Fernando Jose Corbado was born on July 1, 1926, in Oakland, California. At the age of five, he moved to Los Angeles. He finished high school at the age of 17 because of World War II. He enlisted in the Navy's Eddy program for naval technicians. There, he received a thorough education on the latest radar technology. He finished his training too late to participate in the war. Japan had surrendered. He was discharged from the Navy in 1946. Using his GI Bill money, Corbato attended the California Institute of Technology from 1946 to 1950, earning his bachelor's degree in physics. With a bachelor in hand, he was admitted to MIT as a graduate student on the John Slatter. Corbato's work on molecular physics was very computationally intensive. As such, he became very familiar with the whirlwind computer at MIT. He received his PhD in 1956 again in physics. Because of his work, Corbato was approached by Phil Philip Morse to work at the MIT Computation Center. There, Corbato learned the frustration of batch processing. The idea of a shared computer utility was beginning to acquire traction at MIT in 1959. Corbato started work on a proof-of-concept project for time-sharing. His project was demonstrated in 1961 and became known as C CTSS, Compatible Time-Sharing System. This project, initially designed for an IBM 704, eventually ran on an IBM 7090. CTSS demonstrated the feasibility of sh time sharing. Later on, it would act as a muscle in the development of Multics under Project Mac. Corbato, after his success with CTSS, became associate professor in 1962. A few years later, he was promoted to professor in 1965. Around that time, a new interest in shared computer resources emerged. Under the umbrella of Project Mac, work became on the successor to CTSS. Teaming up with Bell Labs and GE, the intent was to go far beyond CTSS in terms of computer utility. This was Multics. Multics was groundbreaking in many aspects. Security was built in with hierarchical privileges, file systems, dynamic linking, segmentation. In fact, it was the first computer to ever be B2 compliant, meaning it satisfies the DoD requirements for computers with both classified and non-classified users. Multics was designed for the GE645 initially, but was converted to the Honeywell 6180 after Honeywell's acquisition of GE's computer division. The dream of a computer utility died with the advent of the personal computer. Multics stayed somewhat active up until the mid-1990s, especially in French universities, with close to 36% of all Multics installation being in France. The last Multics system was decommissioned in 2000, at the Canadian Department of National Defense. Corbato stayed at MIT under Project Mac and later at the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, where he was associate department head from 1974 to 1978 and from 1983 to 1993.